Yesterday as I was painting the tail, I got a little carried away and painted over the part of the, the white edge of one of the tail feathers. So first thing I'm going to do this morning is to um, reclaim that white paper. Just I'll give you a quick tour of the of the painting. And here's my photograph and you can see the the white edge on the on the tail feather there which is missing on my painting so we will try to rectify that I'm going to use my my tiny scrubber this is my And um, I think I may, I, th I think I'm going to give myself an edge here. I'm going to use some masking tape and mask off the area that I want to leave as is. With the area that I want to scrub back to the white of paper what white of the paper in between this actually curves down a little bit that's pretty good if I if I scrub more out than I really need to I can always paint it back in so so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and scrub out this area I didn't pre-wet it. I'm just going right in with with my scrubber brush. And I used the water from the clean side of my water reservoir. I'll let that work just a, a few seconds and, uh, and then Now dab it out with a with a clean paper towel, and you can see that brightened it up quite a lot. Let's dry this out nicely, and now I will peel this back, and I should be able to keep a nice sharp edge. My painting was bone dry, which is important. The masking tape wouldn't have stuck very well if it wasn't, and um, I would have been much more likely to to lift off a little bit of paint that I didn't want to lift off if it wasn't bone dry. Just tidying up a couple of places here. That's better. It's a little. I'll, I'll need to to um, redefine the edges of the of the dark passages there, but <clears throat> that's much better. These feathers right here. I didn't do a very good job of painting them. I was a little shaky there when I painted them, but I'm gonna just paint some clear water over them. They're, they're a little darker than I'd like them to be. Those edges are barely visible in the photograph.
All right, instead of using my paper towel to dab that, I'm going to use my thirsty brush. I actually kind of like the the fact that it's not clear clean white paper there. So I I'm going to I'm going to lift a little bit of this and then I'm going to re-wet it again. Actually, I don't think I need to. That's pretty good right there. Scrub this out a little bit more. That's better. Yep, I like that. So now I will, I'll let the this area here dry so that I can redefine the, the edges of the dark passages. And I'll work on something else. Um, I think I'm going to work on the feet. So um, one of the advantages of using my computer for reference material is that I can zoom in. Here you can see I've zoomed in on the on the feet and the legs and um, I'll pull back just a little bit so you can see that it's taking up pretty much the whole screen. Um, so that for places where there's a lot of detail, which the feet have a fair amount of detail, the face is another place where this comes in really handy. Uh, being able to zoom in like this gives me a distinct advantage over a print. Unfortunately, I can't do the same with the painting. I have to work on that, the size that it is. But um, at least I, I can see a lot more of what's going on. Um, so what do I want for a color here? Um, there's actually kind of a blue cast to, to a lot of the, the feet. Um, I think I'll use my neutral... No, I think I'll use the... To see details. So... Here you can see I've zoomed in on the on the feet and the legs, and um, I'll pull back just a little bit so you can see that it's taking up pretty much the whole screen. Um, so that for places where there's a lot of detail, which the feet have a fair amount of detail, the face is another place where this comes in really handy. Uh, being able to zoom in like this gives me a distinct advantage over a print. Unfortunately, I can't do the same with the painting. I have to work on that, the size that it is. But um, at least I, I can see a lot more of what's going on. <coughs> um, so what do I want for a color here? Um, there's actually kind of a blue cast to, to a lot of the, the feet. Um, I think I'll use my neutral... No, nah, I think I'll use the, the Windsor Newton... Payne's Gray, which has a blue cast to it. I'm going to just wet up, carry some water into to make a, a nice wet pool because I'm working with a very small brush. I've got my double lot here, and that doesn't carry much water. It can take a bit of time to, to wet enough to, to do anything with. So, 
there's a bit of a shadow here. I believe this is called the umbra, the dark part of the shadow right on the edge of the of the highlight area. There's a lot going on here, but it's really kind of fussy for, it's a fairly insignificant part of the, of the painting. It's important that it be developed enough to, um, to pull its weight, but, um, but its weight isn't very much, honestly. So really doesn't need a lot of detail. Birds, legs, and feet are a real throwback to their reptilian ancestors. Pretty fascinating, actually, the fact that they can walk around with bare feet in the middle of winter, deep snow, ice, and uh, don't seem to be bothered by it at all. That looks pretty good. I want to introduce a few darker shadows. All right, I think I'll leave that alone for for now. <clears throat> 